Hello YouTube, this is DXLingJA here with another Minecraft video. In this video I'll be showing you two things. My 8-bit adder, which I've redone, and an 8-bit register. Here's my 8-bit adder, which I have redone. It's a lot smaller and it works. I cannot stress this point enough. It works. My other one did not. It was had some major flaws in it that I had to redo. So just to prove to you it works, let's do one plus two over here there we go and it's already done the calculation but we have to get all the way over there so let's go um so I I have done a lot of work on the CP on the CPU ALU and this these two parts are only a small fraction of it. I just need to put it into the game, rearrange it, and wire it so it works. So let's see. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1, 2, 3. And behind my adder is an 8 bit register. Here is an 8 bit register that I have built. A register is composed of two parts. 8 bits of memory and an 8 bit enabler. I am saying 8 bits, I could be saying byte, but I feel like saying 8 bits. Um, so, one bit of memory right here is this small area, this, this part right here. And this is how it works. Um, the, the set bit controls all of the memory so when I turn this on it will either it'll clear whatever is on it before and I can store new information so let's just put this in there and then when you turn off the set bit it will remember what was in it whatever was in it before like so and it it just remembers it you doesn't matter if these are on or not so just to prove it I'll turn these off and as you can see it remembers what was on before and now this enabler over here only has one bit to it it's the enable bit so there's a set bit over there for the memory and an enable bit over here and basically when you turn this on it allows it, allow, it enables it to go through and the reason for an enabler on the memory is because this will hold it this 8-bit memory will hold it for as long as you want it to but if you don't stop it it will continue to go on to a bus to, to the bus and just keep going but you don't want that you want it to stop until you want to use it and so when you want to use it this information you turn on the enable bit and it allows it to come through. See? <laughs> Chicken. And as you can tell I've been labeling a lot of stuff and there's a reason why I'm doing that which I'll explain in a second. This is only a small portion of the ALU which is will have about six or seven parts all about the size of the adder but when the ALU is done it will be able to It'll be able to add, subtract, multiply, divide. It will be able to tell you if the two numbers you put in are the same, or if they're, or if one of the numbers is zero. It will also be able to tell you if the. Um, it will also if you put the code in for letters, it'll also be able to make letters uppercase or lowercase. But for now, this is all I have. And in case you're wondering, I have already built all of the other parts I just need to put them in the game and finally the reason why I've been labeling things is because I've uploaded a save file of my world which you can find in the description so that's all for now thanks for watching and bye